What's going on there guys? Good morning. Good afternoon. It is the Earth Master out here on the live stream. Beautiful Monday, July 18th, 2022. About 12.21 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a uh, 5.9 striking up here off the coast here of the Greenland area. Rather large earthquake it is showing up on some of the seismograph stations including down here in Southern California. Uh, and also over here in Japan, looks like that uh, signature right there is from that 5.9 striking in the area of the globe. Let's go ahead and check out this latest activity. It may get upgraded because it looks like a little bit larger signature than a 5.9. Again, this is from the USGS showing that uh, earthquake up here. Kind of uh, close to the Queen Victoria Sea. That's way up here, but it's on the plate boundary around the Greenland Sea. It's been a little while since we've seen any movement on the Atlantic, in the Atlantic Ocean area here. So kind of starting up here to the north. Sometimes this does unzip its way down south here. So we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Uh, but for now, 5.9 uh, near the Jan Mayen area at 10 kilometers let me see what the uh, USGS is issuing this here real quick. Stand by for just a second. <clears throat> Again, this earthquake just coming in uh, a few moments ago. These guys are showing 5.9 as well. About 10 kilometers there, about 41 minutes ago. So uh, I'm kind of surprised that the S waves are taking a little while to... Uh, show up on some of the graphs but then again this is actually a pretty uh distant earthquake from those couple uh, seismograph stations i showed you guys there on the on the first screen all right so what else we got going on here throughout the region we'll go ahead and start here in the states this is a 2.5 map and above just just trying to pinpoint some activity that stands out compared to the uh the microquake map a little activity once again near the uh the Bodfish area, a 3.4 striking. Looks like that one coming in uh, earlier. Uh, looks like earlier today, earlier this morning, I should say, at 4.3 kilometers below the surface. Some movement up here in Northern California as well with a 2.8. Uh, well off the coast of the Eureka and the Ferndale area. Kind of right there on the southern end of the Gorda Plate and the Pacific Plate boundary. A uh, little activity in the Texas area. Looks like a 3.3 just outside of Pecos. Let's go ahead and pull up the all magnitudes here and see if we got anything further to pinpoint out here. Not a whole lot throughout the eastern part of the states right now. Things kind of quiet. Although, um, with this activity in the Atlantic Ocean, we could start to see uh, some further movement over here around the eastern part of the states. That includes areas around... Uh, well, our, our earthquake zones around South Carolina, areas around possibly eastern Tennessee as well. This area does get uh, some microquake activity uh, at times. And of course, we have that pretty good swarm of activity near the Elgin area of South Carolina. Uh, earlier this month and towards the end of June, we've seen activity ramping up, although it's been really really quiet here over the past week or so in this region then again it's also been really quiet here for about that time uh, same time frame here throughout the atlantic ocean so we'll see what happens if we start getting a little further activity uh, kind of working its way unzipping its way down here through the uh, north atlantic and the mid-atlantic region uh, that should amplify a little bit of pressure here along the eastern part of the states and uh, should should see some microquakes popping up there pretty soon uh, up here around mount rainier we got a uh, little activity popping up there today on the map uh, looks like um, uh, some of these coming in overnight uh, 1.2 looks to be the largest in this little sequence of little microquakes some movement uh, around the victoria area as well up north looks like a couple small earthquakes there 1.5 the largest some of these pretty deep though at about 28 kilometers deep uh, that has a lot to do with the cascadia subduction zone uh, this subduction zone here extends all the way up from about the queen charlotte sound area south into northern california 
Uh, let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot going on through Idaho or the Wyoming region. Just a couple earthquakes there on the northern end of the Sawtooth Fault Zone in Idaho. Uh, pretty large cluster of quakes, which is very typical here in the northern California region. That's uh, around the hy um, hydrothermal fields out there. South of Clear Lake. Uh, not, not a whole lot showing up today in terms of a recent activity. A lot of this here that you're seeing on the map is from yesterday, aside from uh, this little uh, bodfish earthquake activity. It looks like they're having a little small aftershock there as well with a 1.3. Uh, one earthquake on the Garlock Fault shear zone. Uh, another 1.3. This one occurring uh, looks like late afternoon yesterday. And uh, a little sc uh, spotty activity. I was going to say Scotty. A little Scotty activity. Spotty activity there around the Salton City area. Um, let's see when this was. It looks like a little bit over overnight. Most of it yesterday. But do got to keep an eye on this region pretty closely uh, for swarms. But right now, just kind of uh, a few microquakes overnight. There's some of that activity in Oklahoma. Scattered out and about. Looks like around Marshall, Hennessy area. And the Cushing, Oklahoma area, 2.4, the largest in that uh, sequence of quakes out there through the northern part of Oklahoma. Beautiful state, by the way. I'm sure it's hot, but uh, yeah, these Tuesdays supposed to be around um, ooh, what, 110, 111 around this area of Oklahoma. Um, yeah, it, it gets hot out there, but that's somewhat rare for them, 111. That's not the heat index, that's just the, uh, the actual temperature. Uh, let's see what we got around the New Madrid zone. Looks like a couple small earthquakes uh, in this area. 2.3, the largest. Just uh, right, right smack dab in the New Madrid zone, the hazard area. Uh, up into Alaska, some movement again through the Cook Inlet area, and uh, some spotty activity. Looks up, looks like uh, up outside of Denali National Park. Not a whole lot of major movement happening in Alaska right now. Things just kind of tapering off as as um, you can see here on the map that goes for the majority of the Pacific plate if you look over here through the Japan Trench and down through the Mariana Trench area things quiet right now very quiet not a whole lot of uh, movement taking place uh, most recent earthquake looks to be a 4.6 here in the Philippines uh, near the Santa Monica region uh, southwestern portion here of the Philippine plate this here is the uh, entire Philippine plate pretty length well kind of a smaller one but there is quite a few lengthy trenches here a lot of subduction zones that play and a lot of um, dipping and uprising and all sorts of cool tectonic stuff going on there with the Philippine plate very dynamic region but also very dangerous in terms of some larger scale uh, build up and earthquake activity there movement here through Papua New or through the uh, Papua New Guinea over to the Java Trench is from yesterday haven't seen any further activity there, nor have we seen any around the Fiji Islands, Samoa, or the Tonga region south. There's 2.9 in the uh, Cromwell, New Zealand area from yesterday. So you take off all these yesterday quakes and it's very, very quiet over here throughout the Western Pacific. Uh, through the um, Afghanistan area, looks like Eastern Afghanistan, seeing a couple fives kick off here uh, overnight low grade fives but uh, they don't need any more earthquakes over there that's for sure over here in Iraq as well looks like yeah it yeah, looks like it's on the border here of Iran and Iraq Baghdad sits so down here to the southwest of 4.4 and the Middle East region not a whole lot going on through the Mediterranean Sea although uh, again this is only the 4.0 and above map sometimes the USGS will show Earthquakes below that, you know, just like this New Zealand one. I find that kind of odd that they show a 2.9, but uh, occasionally they will. But uh, there's some twos and threes popping off here along the EMSC model. I've got to zoom in here to be able to see that activity at a lower scale, as uh, far as a lower magnitude scale. It seems a little spotty activity throughout the region. Nothing major going on though uh, throughout the Mediterranean for now. Um, again, like I said, a lot takes place when we see earthquakes throughout the Atlantic Ocean. This is a divergent type boundary, seafloor spreading, so to speak. And a lot of times these swarms that we get through the Mid-Atlantic area uh, increases a lot of pressure here uh, from this uh, over towards this region here. 
and also you got to remember this uh, applies further pressure towards the east when these two split here uh, get further pressure on this region here and also here over here along the western portion of the state so that does include areas on the east coast region so we'll watch that see if uh, this shows any signs of further activity which I think it will uh, considering it's been awfully quiet let me pull up seven days uh, yeah look at that we haven't seen any earthquake movement here within the last week one little one up here uh, in the Greenland Sea uh, looks like that was uh, yesterday they must have added that on there um, after the fact but uh, aside from that not a, like I say not a whole lot going on so I expect this to change uh, pretty rapidly um, let's see what else we got here some Puerto Rico activity showing a little bit of movement out there around the southwestern portion here Puerto Rico down into the uh, Marietta Mariotos trough trough and a little activity this is from yesterday uh, in the uh, Dominica area 4.2 pretty deep though 142 kilometers uh, let's see what we got for Hawaii as far as the Loihi Sea Mount. Of course, there is some concern of some uh, magma movement occurring underneath the submarine volcano. Um, ge geologists and whatnot, seismologists, don't think it's going to be that big of a deal if even if this thing were to erupt, which was, uh, I believe, back in 1996, the last one. So it's been a little while, uh, but they were having some pulses of seismic activity every 15 uh, to 30 seconds and uh, seismograph stations there showing some activity which indicate magma movement underneath the ground there um, out in the ocean around the Loihi Seamount uh, today a little bit more activity looks like a couple small earthquakes 2.2 and a 2.6 in that region that one occurring um, a few hours ago about three or four hours ago uh, but no major further swarming going on but we are keeping an eye on that pretty closely there around the Loihi Seamount uh, Yellowstone National Park got uh, not a whole lot going on here not a whole lot at all that's uh, looking pretty pretty calm a couple small specks of microquakes it looks like but that's very very typical here uh, of Yellowstone National Park these guys get even um, and major swarms which is somewhat very typical but these little bitty ones that's I, I don't even really look at those they're not even worth the time unless you got hundreds of them in a short amount of time which has has happened but uh, for now just a couple small ones within that area of Yellowstone a trimmer last night showing a little bit of amplified numbers there 174 epicenters along the um, kind of towards the northern end of the Cascadia and also down south here Got to remember this is down dip of the Cascadia Mega Thrust Area uh, underneath these regions here, about 35, 45 kilometers, 174 epicenters of trimmer tonight, or yesterday, I should say, last night. Uh, let's check out the Mount Rainier area, considering they're having a little bit of earthquake activity. It is listed here on the map. This is a beautiful volcano, but, uh, you know, still active. Seen... Uh, see what we got I know a couple of these seismograph stations do not work all that great um, let's see if we can find one that actually works appropriately so that we can read some of the data let's see stand by for a second I don't even know if this one's gonna pop up maybe someday maybe this year maybe never Is this one of those ones that just sit and time out the, oh there we go that wasn't even worth the wait can't even see anything in that noise kind of looks like static you would see throughout one of those older TVs not helpful one bit let's check out the uh, three component broadband station here this is a little bit better there's some of those S waves kicking in from the uh, 5.9 up in the uh, Jan Mayen area off the coast of Greenland north of Iceland area that uh, kind of shows you how these surface waves can travel through the earth thousands and thousands of miles away uh, some of the bigger ones uh, bigger earthquakes um, really are noticeable across all of the seismograph stations around the globe uh, but this 5.9 did a pretty good job of making itself known uh, here at this volcano see the squiggly lines indicating some s waves from that 5.9 way far away 
far as seismic activity goes locally, yeah, there's a few of them, I would say. A couple small microquakes. See all these little specks here on the map. Let me see what let me see what we got uh, for magnitudes. What they have up here? I know it wasn't big. A 1.2 looks to be the largest at 444. Didn't I just announce a 444 number in yesterday's winter? I can't remember. I think I did. Uh, so 1.2 at, uh, again, 0444 timestamp. Uh, let's see what I do with it. Where'd it go? Yeah, so that's going to be the 1.9 right here, right? Isn't that right? 1 point, oh, 1.2. Way ahead. 1.2 at 444. A whole bunch of numbers here. Uh, so these other ones that you're seeing on the graph here are much, much smaller. If this is a 1.2, you know these others are at least half of that and smaller in terms of magnitudes. But there is quite a few of them here at the Mount Rainier Volcano, uh, including all these little bitty specks. So we'll watch it pretty closely. It is, uh, this one actually looks properly tuned uh, if it's picking up the S waves like this and not too much clutter. Uh, this is a good seismograph station here to monitor for activity there around the Mount Rainier region. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Um, have a good day. Uh, space weather activity is uh, kind of active, not super active right now as uh, far as the flaring goes, but we'll cover that a little bit later on tonight. Uh, till then, take care and have a good day. Enjoy your Monday. Make sure you guys stay cool if you can out there. I know a lot of heat is happening out there all across the country. So we'll catch you guys a little bit later on. Peace out, everyone.